looks like I'm, whoa, I'm live. I've been live for five seconds and didn't know it. Hey, it's Brickzar. I might need to say that again in a minute when there's more people here. So anyway, this is going to be one Brickzar answer thingy question at least. And it's not actually a Brickzar answer thingy question. It's actually an email that I received. I do get a lot of times people emailing me questions. I don't always reply to those. And I don't know because I get so many questions. <laughs> but there's been something that's come up. One side it's very annoying. The other side is a legitimate question like this. And I got a, a haul, but there's not just Lego store stuff in here. I put my mail in here too. So I got my mail and something I got from uh, Second and Charles. And I have this thing. It's like I shouldn't go to the bathroom before I go look at stuff. I, I hope that's not offensive to people. But this is the second time I have missed out on a haul because I was a few seconds too late <laughs> getting there. And it has to do with the guy who designed this set. And messed me up. No, he beat me to it. All right. So I'm going to do... Um, and answer a question, and it's the title of the live stream, and then we'll do the haul. But wh what did I put as the title? I forgot. Why do you have? Why does Bricklink? Did I put Bricklink or eBay in the title? I don't even remember. Why does Bricklink not allow you to sell if you have no feedback? Now, apparently, that's the case because I've had two people in the last week or so ask me that question. Uh, this one is the way you're supposed to ask it. The way I was asked on the first time was, give me feedback. You just get the person I have no idea. I don't know who you are. And you message me on BrickLink and say, give me feedback. Block. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me say hey to who's in to whoever is here in the chat, which was, looks like we got a lot of people. Uh, that was my two minute and 15 second intro we got a lot of people here i'm gonna go back to the top happy brick was the first one in the house then we have west tennessee storm chasers bonjour he says braxton baltrozak hey 117 legion seismic brick hey <laughs> got it on the internet i don't remember happy bricks asking where i got the shirt this I did a Google search, and I don't even think you can get it from the same place anymore. But there's a lot of people that sell classic space logo T-shirts and different. You know what? I need to get a pink one. All right. Hey, Benny Bricks. Hey, Aussie Brick Chick. What you doing up this time of day? I don't know what time it is over there. They're usually doing live streams very early to us on Friday over there on Aussie Brick Chick's channel. The Brickaholic. Uh... I'm just going to remove your comment and leave another one like that, and you'll be blocked. And uh, Robin Moore, hello. And Undead Evie, hello. Blockhead UK, Jay Gilbert. Braxton, again, hello. Brick Buildmeister. <laughs> Still one of my favorite sig figs there. Shiny Bricks, Mike K. Jags, Martin. Hey, man, what's going on? And Paul Fairchild, Imtron Knot, Erwin Ealing, <laughs> give me feedback. <laughs> Garfield Smith. <laughs> oh, so it's 9 a.m. In, in, it's 9 a.m. over in her part of the world in Australia for Aussie Brick Chick. Hey, Boz Bricks. Javier. Hello. And Paul Fairchild. So um, the question is, now, I've been, hey, Lego Freak and Wayne Kenny. Hello. So the question is, why does BrickLink not allow people with zero feedback to sell? I didn't know this was a thing. Apparently it is. And I 100% agree with it. And I'll just let me read the question, though. I, I It's good to have both sides of the story. And I can understand the frustration uh, to people that want to sell their collection. They don't really want to buy stuff. So this came from a guy named Mark who emailed me through Brigzar at Brigzar.com. <laughs> he says, what are your thoughts on BrickLink making the sellers purchase items before they can sell? I am not a collector and are just selling all my Lego from the mid-1980s to the mid-1990s. Sounds like some good stuff, 
possibly. It says, I am putting them together first and confirming that all the parts are correct. That's good. Plus, I have the instructions. That's really good. And I can put them on eBay. But the fees. Oh, yes. Thank you, Mark. All right, Mark. So I got my start on BrickLink buying. And it kind of gives you the idea of what is involved in going through the whole purchase process, what to expect, what, what happens when different sellers do good things and don't do good things. So you learn a lot from buying. But like you said, you don't really want to buy. You just want to sell off your collection. You're headed off to a dark age, apparently. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm jesting. But. The reason they don't allow people with zero feedback, and this is 100% speculation on my part, is because there have been, and I've experienced this and I've seen this, there have been a lot of people that get on there with no feedback, start selling stuff like crazy, and they don't have anything. They just get the money, get kicked off BrickLink, and cause all kinds of problems. We had, you know, we've had, we've seen that from people. And you know, how do you get feedback if you can't sell and get to get the feedback? Well, you have to buy. And I think it's good to know how the process works uh, before you go into selling on BrickLink. So I think it's a good thing. And just it cuts down on the problems. And usually the majority of your sellers are their buyers as well. So it's not generally a problem. I think you're in the very, very small minority of people that would never buy on BrickLink that want to sell on BrickLink. But I highly recommend buying first just to kind of know what it's like. And so you can better understand your customers. And I, I'm looking at this again. Oh, the fees. Well, think about this. Okay, The BrickLink fees are so much less than eBay. So 100% understand that. Now, of course, sometimes you can sell things quicker on eBay. But then you're going to pay the 13 to 20% fees uh, with that. I think instead, why don't you just, it's the money that you would have spent on eBay fees, go buy some things <laughs> on BrickLink. Go buy a couple of poly bags or so. I don't know. Buy some stuff to build up your feedback and and then sell it later. <laughs> just turn around and sell it. Um, and that, that, that would have been the money from your fees on eBay anyway. But I think it's a good thing. Let me see what the comments are saying. Here. Oh, look, Maniac is here. Maniac for Bricks. Hello. Hey, Nick Bricks. Hey, Henry T. The Brickhead family. Still like the mystery science theater stuff, you know. M Lego 17. Hello. Jay Gilbert, of course. Everybody gets feedback. This isn't, that's the one thing like eBay. I hate the way eBay does stuff, is like you cannot leave negative feedback to buyers. And Almost all of my negative experiences on eBay have been with buyers. Now, you know, you, you can do non-paying bidders and that's the way you deal with them. But why can't you give that person a negative feedback? Because you can do a non-paying bidder and the person stays on, on eBay. But you should be able to get them a negative for that. Why don't I, if somebody does credit card fraud, you should be able to give them a negative. <laughs> oh, there's so many reasons to give buyers negative, um, but they want to protect the buyers more than they do the sellers on eBay. BrickLink, it's not like that. Buyers, you can leave them negative. I've I've only had to do that. I haven't had to do that in a long time. And it was, there was actually a guy, he got like a negative 107 feedback rating. I wish I could go find it because what they did is they placed like at least 107 orders, if not more. And a lot of us that do YouTube, they had bought from us. And then what they did is they placed their order and then sent us an invoice. <laughs> you know, like they wanted us to send them money for their order that they placed in our store. And so it, it didn't take long. It only took three of us to get him kicked off of uh, uh, BrickLink. And so, boom, he got a bunch of negatives. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know how you could place that many orders and that, that's when i was thinking maybe there should be a limit to how many orders somebody can place but then i think of places like brick mania that need to buy a lot of stuff so you don't really want to limit uh, a buyer like that uh, but anyway brick pasta is here david elder is here 
Oh, David. Okay, I'll get back to some of these others. They might be bricks. What are you doing, man? You in the? Are you in the car? <laughs> I, I, they, they just left. So I said, okay, I can do a live stream. And it's quiet in the house. I got the air conditioner or the heater turned off. <laughs> but, um, David Elder says, what about people that buy from you and don't leave feedback for you? I'm like, so over it now. I don't worry about it. I don't even usually go back and check. Uh, anymore because it's about the, it's actually a little better with Bricklink than eBay. Uh, but on eBay, you can expect that at least a third of the people that buy from you or have a transaction from you, whether they're not going to leave feedback. I've left feedback on every transaction I've done. So for, I can probably count on one hand how many times I haven't left feedback. And that's where it was uh, transactions that were canceled, <laughs> things like that. I, I don't give them positive, don't give them neutral, don't give them negative, if, especially if it's for a valid reason that they wanted to cancel the transaction. I just tend not to give feedback in that situation because there's really nothing happened. It's like, oh, somebody made a mistake or, oh, it wasn't what they bought the wrong thing. And um, there's, 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 there are legitimate reasons that somebody would cancel an order. But yeah, I, I've definitely both eBay and Bricklink. I've gotten more. I've left. Excuse me. I've left more feedback than I've received. In eBay, it's about there's at least a third of the people never left me feedback. Bricklink, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's a lot better. <sighs> yeah, I don't understand the, the way eBay does things, where they kind of keep things in. Um, it's like your recent history. Which I guess is good because now I'm back up to 100%. The four idiots that left me negative. Let's see if I can remember. I've been on eBay for 19 years. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember the four people that left me negative. Um, there was the one guy who called me a racist. And this was before anybody knew what I looked like. And um, then there was the guy who bought the locomotive, broke it, and then wanted to return it. He bent, and he, he was like, this part is bent. And I was like, no, it's not bent. That's the way it goes. Yes, it's bent. No, it's not bent. You know, we're emailing back and forth. He said, I, well, I'm trying to bend it, and it broke. I was like, it's supposed to be bent. It's articulated. That's the way and he broke it. And then he wanted me to uh, refund him his money, and I was like, no, I'll take the, I'll take the negative on that. I, you broke it. <laughs> I'm not refunding you the money for something that you broke. And then there was the guy who bought the um, the comic books and said they had spin damage, which I think he meant spine damage. And he never emailed me. I actually had more copies of those comic books. I would have sent them to him with no charge, but he just left me negative and that was it. So he didn't get any, anything to replace it. Whoa. <laughs> I just got a super chat from Sterling. Foils, thank you. He says, uh, 100. I love your channel and live streams. Keep them coming. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate that very much. That 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 is a good incentive to continue to do live streams. Hey, Pop Block Shop. Hey, William Gamble. Brick Pasta, Brick Bakery. Hello. Max JH, Figar22, John Denmark. Rick Rolly Poli. <laughs> thank you, Sterling Foils, again. Hold on a minute. Uh, I don't know who you're calling an idiot, but I don't have time for this. <sighs> Thank you, Brick Pasta. One of my favorite shirts. I actually had a different one on. It had beer on it. I, was like, I better put a Lego shirt on because I don't know. M. Tronite says, have you imagined Bricklink in the 90s? I dreamed of stuff like that. I dreamed of eBay in the 90s. It's actually, when eBay started, I, the, when it started, I actually wasn't on online. I, and I hadn't been online for a long time. Believe it or not, I was online in the 80s. <laughs> 
And I just kind of, my, when my computer kind of started having some problems, it was really old by the early nineties. I just didn't do anything with computers for a while. So I bought a computer in 1997 is when I first, my first PC was in 1997. And that's when I discovered rec.toys.lego. Then I discovered eBay after that, but I didn't get on eBay until 2000. And so I did all through the nineties and the eighties. I was like, why is there not a place I can find Lego sets that I did, that I missed? Like you, I couldn't find them at yard sales. I couldn't find them anywhere. And it's like, I find them more at yard sales now than I did in the eighties and nineties. Um, but yeah, it would have been nice if there was something like this back then. Hey, Xander Bricks. Yeah, well, when I say online brick bakery, I had a modem. <laughs> and so you could basically I could connect to other people I know. And I think there was the, the, these Usenet type things where you could go and it's just like information. You could go to like a it's like a bulletin board where you get information. Didn't use it that much. I mean, you have a 1440 baud modem. You're not going to be passing a lot of data. <laughs> But I do remember my friend, we would get on there and chat sometimes. And then we'd be like, I think it'd be easier to talk on the phone. <laughs> so, and it tied up. That's the other thing. Whenever you get on the, the, the computer with one phone line, it's like it ties up the phone. If anybody picks up one of the other phones, it disconnects your call, misses the, misses it up. So, uh, and the programs on my computer were loaded with a cassette tape, and you could you could hear the uh, data going through. Yeah, it was a wonderful time. The nineteen eighties. We thought we were like high tech. Thank you, Jags. Martin says he's been enjoying the brick reviews lately. I've had a lot of fun with it. I'll be honest; some of them are going to get weird, and some of them may be meld in. Um, I I've I was really proud of the one that uploaded today. I actually filmed that several, actually a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that was one of my favorite ones that I did. The one with the uh, wooden blocks, and I want to do more with the uh, the extra characters. <laughs> they're 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 a little difficult to build and, or to um, to film with. They they they're a little bit troublesome. Um, I hope everybody caught the very end of the video. That was very critical, I, and I may find a way of incorporating that in other videos. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Lego Freak. <laughs> so when you when you you block somebody, they get mad and go create fake accounts. All right, DB Rail Fan says weird is good. That's right. <laughs> hey Nick Silverstein, thanks for joining. Oh, Blockhead says she remembers staying up late to chat with US Space Folks on IRC in the mid 1990s. <laughs> yeah. I remember the uh, in the computer magazines there would be those ads for like CompuServe and things like that. And I, I don't think I ever got one of the subscription services back then, but they had it for the computer that I had. Um, I think CompuServe was the one. It's so long. I mean, that's you're talking almost 40 years ago when I got my first computer, and it's like trying to remember what I did as a kid. Uh, I wish I had. I wish I had like photographic records of that, that experience. I wish I had video of that. Now I actually, I don't have my first computer anymore. I actually made the mistake of selling it. I do have one that's exactly like it <laughs> that I bought. I don't know if it works. I haven't tried it out yet. So I, I'm thinking about doing videos with that and at least the video gameplay. Um, Jerry, where's my football game? You never gave it back to me in my chess game. That was in high school. All right, let's do the haul. This is from the Lego store. I got the uh, bridge. They brought the bridge back. So I now have this in, I think, four different versions. <laughs> the bridge. 
That's train month, which is in March. Oh, I was going to do an entire video about this. So they've, they've, Lego has put on clearance the base plates, the road plates that were the previous one. And apparently they did not hear all of our cries of complaint about uh, just make them two packs of the same type of road. But they did do it a little better. They put the two worst together and the two best together. So I bought the best one, which is my part. It's the T one. <laughs> uh, the straight road and the just the, the T intersection. They put the quad intersection and the curve together. Um, I still think it's a colossal fail. I still think they should put two straights together, two T's together, two intersections together, and two curves together. But I'm sure there's a marketing reason behind it. And this is this is how they, this is how I see it going on in the in their their, their, their planning meeting. Or so okay, we got this base plate, this uh the, the 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 quad intersection, it doesn't sell well. So why don't we put it with the one that sells the best, the straight section? And that way we'll sell the same number. Brilliant. Oh, that's great. Let's go for that. I think it's a stupid idea. Right, and I got a, I got another one of these. That's to, to hold the movie card. All right. Oh, and I got the um, tactical Batman. This is the Justice League Batman and Superman. And we, I got another set upstairs. It's uh, They might be bricks. Went ahead and built it before I could do my haul. But it's the uh, Benny's repair base. It's the Lego movie too with Benny and it, the ship, the juniors one and man, is it juniors? All right. I like Erwin says he has only the eighties base plates. I like the eighties base plates actually. Maniac Rick. So yeah, I noticed that the discount and the update better, but you know, <laughs> Maybe sell the road plates on bricks and pieces. That, that's the other al alternative. I, I think it's more expensive for them to do big things like that on bricks and pieces. I, I'm just guessing. I don't know if they've ever put the roads on bricks and pieces. What are some of the biggest items? Look at this. It's pretty. I hope this is a... I hope this is a Bricklink order. I, I placed several Bricklink orders, so I know that's a Bricklink order. That's a... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Bricks and minifigs. This will be... All right. This is actually a return from Bricks and minifigs. So I, I, this is... You got confirmation that I got them back. All these helmets. So I talked earlier about um, sometimes there's legitimate reasons for orders being canceled. And then sometimes you'll have sellers that need to buy in bulk and they're buying a lot and a lot. And this is what happened with bricks and minifigs. I don't know what they were building, but they needed a bunch of helmets and they had multiple people ordering helmets for them. And somehow somebody ordered the wrong color. <laughs> so, they 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 pretty much wiped out my inventory of those helmets, and I was like, "Oh yeah, we sold all of them." But then they were like, "Uh oh, we bought the wrong ones." They actually bought a couple other little things in the order, and they were like, "We know you don't have to do this. We messed up. Would you accept a return and a restocking fee?" And I was like, "I totally understand. It's a it's an honest mistake." And because of that, I I said, yes, I would do it. So they've returned it. So I got it, and I will refund them uh, the money, which was quite a bit because they ordered like 250 of those helmets. So I'm just going to turn around and put them back in the store. So that and that's like – that to me, that's a legitimate return. Uh, somebody who has a good reputation, <laughs> wasn't trying to be – you know, swindle me out of the money, but they just, they were ordering real quick and ordering a lot for a project they had and they just got the wrong color. All right. So I can refund them there, but I told them I wouldn't refund them until I got it back. 
and I got it back. So everybody on the internet knows I got the helmets back. I can't lie. Double decker couch. Yes, you are moderator. You earned it. <laughs> it is not a it is a totally unpaid. <laughs> and I, I I really need to pay back Lego Freak because um He's like the best, one of the best moderators because he actually, you know, mod moderator allows me to know that this is actually the person. That, and that's why some people, that's how Lego Freak initially became a moderator because of all the fake Lego Freak accounts. And, um, and so he, not only did he become a moderator, but he actually took care of a lot of the problems. We had a couple of them on this stream already. Brick Smith doing a live stream later tonight, I see. I, I appreciate all the um, offers to join. I just not been able to do it lately, but maybe um, I will be able to join you one day. All right, here's a BrickLink order. I got pigtails. There are a bunch of them, at least twenty, I think. These are the black hair pigtails, the vintage Lego. The very first hairpiece for girls or for women were these. It's like guys had hats, girls had pigtails. That's the only choices you had in the early days when I was a kid. That's all you had. Girls had pigtails, guys had hats, nothing else. Or you could go bald. All right, so what else did I get? So I picked up a couple of other items. I got these space bricks from the vintage space sets. You got the small logo, big logo. Small logo, big logo. And those are in really good shape. I got the Lego Spaceman. It's got, well, I don't know if this is going to show up. But he's got the space logo right there. Nice. Reminds me of they might be bricks. And I got four Brickzar heads. People keep telling me I need to put Brickzar in my Bricklink store. I need to get them first. I thought I might try that, but I feel guilty selling them. Actually, all right. Um, if I do that, space. I know I've missed a lot of comments. <laughs> Lots of pigtails. Golden light pictures. How many Bricklink orders do you do? I do a bunch. <laughs> I actually closed my store. We were getting like four to six a day um, through January. So I just taking a break right now. And I've actually placed more orders. Oh, I got to do the pretty package. I got the pretty package. <laughs> now this one, most people when I buy from Bricklink, they do like me, and they have, they print out the label using PayPal or something or or a service like that, where it put, puts the barcode on there. This one's handwritten. So anytime it's handwritten, there's all, also the possibility that it's not a Bricklink order. It's possible that it could be somebody sent something. So in case that's the case, but I'm hoping it's a BrickLink order. Yes, it's a BrickLink order. And I can finally, finally. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is a Dino 2010 guy that I was missing on one of my Dino 2010 sets. I got plenty of time for that because the dinosaur month is not until August, but all right. So they might be bricks is building a fortress of solitude. Those are white roof pieces. He's wanting to build. A, so I'm just now I'm it's on my wanted list. And every time I go to a store, I just buy all of them that they got. This is a little badge. This goes in a train set, the, the white and green train. <laughs> Uh, that I'm trying to complete, but this is what I needed. Sometimes pieces that you think are fairly common are hard to find. And these are goblets that are white. Um, I couldn't find it. I looked and looked and looked in my collection and I could not find it. I had a whole tray full of goblets of all different colors, no white ones. And I needed that for a Belleville set that I want to do for February. So now I can, that's the only piece that was missing in that set was that, um, that goblet. So I got it. Let's see what else is in here. <gasps> I 
That is for the Batmobile. I I had four of these. I loaned one to They Might Be Bricks. I don't know where it went. And since I needed the goblets and the, the dino figure, and he had this in the store as well, I went ahead and got that. So that was a real small Bricklink order. But just those few pieces. I got a very important piece for the Batmobile. I got the goblet for the Belleville set that's sitting right over there that I'm not going to show you. <laughs> And some parts for uh, they might be bricks. All right, Walmart has clearance still on finding dollar poly bags. So there's like five of them right there. The Jurassic World one. I'm finding them at places. And there's more of the late. This is from the Lego store. Some more of these. I think I got seven packs. I do want to get the complete collection. Maybe I'll trade with somebody. I got one more box. I Actually, I don't even know this. It's got my name on it. But I don't know what it is. Let me see. It might not be anything to do with it. <laughs> Empty vest vegetable capsules. That must be for my wife. <laughs> Had my name. <laughs> the capsule machine. All right, I give that to my wife. Why did it have my name on it? <laughs> Probably was from Amazon or something. I don't know. All right, let me just say hey to the chat. I actually got more. I didn't get to the the most interesting part. I don't know if it's the best part. Brick Build Master says lending printed Batman elements to kid, <laughs> just like buying them from eBay. <laughs> yeah, Lego FNAF one two three Fortnite. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good night, JB Brick fanatic. I hope I'm not in. When's your stream start? It starts at three, Brick Smith. Right? I mean, at nine. And what time is it now? Oh, it's only six forty nine. All right, Capital City Bricks. Hello. Shane McQueen. Oh, you're in Canada. Somebody else was in Canada. Stephen Van Trite. So I don't. I know Stephen may not be in here in the chat. Hey, Brick Clone, I'll get with you soon. Um, but S S Stephen has sent me the Toys R Us builds, and I've been working on piecing together those sets and it's so frustrating when you get you're like you're missing just like a couple of pieces and then the sets that they are in are sets that i don't have so it's like now i've been looking on lego.com and amazon for the sets that have the pieces because sometimes what i'll do instead of buying them on bricklink i'll just buy the sets that have those pieces and then part them out and get the pieces i need kind of a lot of work but <laughs> Calador reviews. I'm, I'm literally the uh, camera is being held up, not held up like uh, a hold up like you're holding up a bank, but it's um, the camera is sitting on top of a Galador set. <laughs> and I, I, I was going to do Galador sets for Funuary. I may not have room for one, um, and I was thinking about trying to get more of the uh, sets and get as many of them as I could. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get all of them, but I got about four or five Galador sets that I haven't even opened. Uh, two of them I got from Maniac for Bricks. Good night, Blockhead. Thank you for joining. Lego Man of the Midwest. Hello. <laughs> seismic break what are your thoughts on a new lego element daily segment the problem with the lego element daily is you have to do it every day <laughs> which when i initially did that i'm like there's tens of thousands of lego elements i could just do this forever <laughs> but it's if you don't make it interesting it's pretty bad uh, there are some good things that came from Lego Element Daily, um, like the Brickzar. I think the first time I the, the Brickzar Sig Fig appeared was in a Lego Element Daily. 
segment. And there were some interesting parts, but by far of all the things that I've tried, those were my worst videos as far as they just, they were bad. Not just, not that people didn't watch them. They were just bad because I was trying to do it every day and it was not very interesting. Um, I like what somebody else suggested, just call it Lego element details. And then you don't have to, um, uh, do it every day. <laughs> that's what the word I was, that's what I was looking for. But yeah, it's, and I, 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 I do have some things I'd like to show like unusual elements. I've done the rare elements, but it's just, yeah, it was hard to do it every single day. Did I get another super chat that I missed? Capital city bricks. Check out their bricklink stores. They didn't say that, but <laughs> since they did a super chat, I said, check out their bricklink store, capital city. bricks. <laughs> <laughs> energy bricks phoenix energy bricks hey how's it going yeah weekly or monthly uh that's ewing said through that and I, if i did lego element details and then it just be like a weird element i had some ideas for one piece mocks <laughs> So, and that's one thing you could do that I think would make it more interesting, but there's not a lot of pieces like that, but pieces that by themselves, they look like something. And of course, I think that's been done. There's some of them that, um, I'm assuming that all, 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 all the possibilities are out there, but there are a couple of them that we come up with, but I don't think I've seen anybody else do. Uh, so I don't even know how many of those I could do, but yeah. Morgan Katz. Hello. Hello, Carter Smith. Hello, Epic Cool Guy. Hello, Nintendo for Life. <laughs> All right. So, true story. All right. Today, I went into the, um, the store called Second and Charles. Second and Charles, if you don't know, is a place where you can trade or sell. Actually, I think you, you can take your things that you want to get rid of. Uh, they have comic books. People bring in comic books. People bring in records, books. They got mostly a lot of books, but they have video games. They got Funko Pops. Uh, so they, they do take used items. So they got a lot of retro video games in there. Uh, they got a lot of retro action figures. Uh, there's some Godzilla stuff I've been eyeballing in there. But they have a Lego section. And generally, the Lego section is bad overpriced. Uh, but if you get in there when they first get in stuff, you might find some good deals. And so the reason I'm holding this up is because this guy here, let me see if I can make sure I get on it right here. So this Star Justice is designed by Chris Giddens. All right. So Chris Giddens um, was in the store <laughs> Going through, they had all these tubs set up on the counter. It was like more than I've seen when I've gone in there. And they were going through. There was train track. There were a lot of big elements. And they were getting stuff. And if I just got there sooner. But anyway, I paid $7.60. This is what I got for $7.60. I got a brush. I got a straight track. Another straight track. Another straight track. These aren't nine volt. They're the regular uh, the power functions ones. I got a monorail stanchion. That's key. Another monorail stanchion. Oh look, a piece of monorail track. So this is where Chris beat me. He got there. Obviously, he was there long before I was, but he. While I was there, I, there was one tub. I didn't start digging into it. Then he started digging into it. He got a straight monorail track and the ramps for um, monorail, which is it's very hard to find that stuff <laughs> anywhere like it a, in a public place like that. I got another straight track. I got a switch track. Here's a weird. Now, this is the type of piece that you could put on Lego element details or Lego element daily. What is that from? It's a window, I do believe. It's a funny angled window. There's the top. There's the bottom. 
Got another straight track. I got a shark. And this is unusual. They usually dig out the minifigures. So I got minifigures. None of them were retro, but oh, this is from the soccer game. www.lego.com. This one is interesting. It said Viking on the side of it, which made me wonder. It's got a hair on it, too. Nice. I got a shooting cannon. I got another brush. I want to try to build that train wash. And there's some more minifigures. Now, they did say that there was a knockoff Millennium Falcon mixed in with the uh, other stuff. And I got this BB-8 piece. I believe that this is a knockoff. I think this is a fake. It's just part of BB-8. But just looking at it, yeah, it's a fake. I just wanted to throw it in there. And so, yeah, I got all that stuff. They had uh, Most of this track came from this train set here, which is, I think, $78.98. And I also got, wait for it. I, actually, that would be disappointing. Wait for it. I got a fire truck. Or most of the parts to a fire truck. Even worse, it's a Jack Stone fire truck. It's the Jack Stone ladder truck with the world's shortest ladder for a giant truck. Uh, so it's got the big elements. It's got the all-important chrome pieces there. Um, doesn't have the Jack Stone minifigure. It's got some that goes to it. So I was like, ah, I'll get it. And then see if I can um, finish piecing it together. Oh, these fell out of my bag. Look, I got Jane Bricks in overalls. This goes to Mtron. So, pretty good day to be at Second and Charles for seven dollars and sixty cents. Now, the, the I paid way too much for the um, fire truck. I paid ten dollars for the fire truck, and I got this. The Green Arrow. Hey, they might be Bricks. You're not still on here, are you? Nope, I don't think you are. I got that green arrow. I paid way too. I wasn't going to buy it, but after I got the good deal on the track and stuff, I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and buy it. All right, so get all this stuff up. I've just made a mess here. This is this is bad. Joseph Cheese in the Pie. Hello. Yeah, secondhand stores are good, and sometimes uh, thrift stores can be good, but they're like, you got to go in every single day. And the day that you don't go in is the day they get something and you miss it. Um, so I do go into thrift stores a lot. I would say I probably only buy maybe one out of every 20 times I walk in a thrift store. And then sometimes it's not, it's just like a Duplo tub or something. But every now and then you find something that's good. <sighs> All right, let me get, I've missed so many comments and I apologize. Yes, I got a little brick sharp by his bricks. And just getting the minifigures was to me was worth it because they never have minifigures in that in the bin. They usually have picked them out. Yep, that was from an Mtron set. Oh, I got this. And it's like if I had more time, so I didn't have a lot. See, this is another hard to find piece, another vintage piece. If I had more time, I would have gone through because I mean, you. You could probably find pieces that were valuable um, if you knew what you were looking for, but I didn't have the time. I mean, the thing was overflowing with bricks. There's so many bricks in there. Bye, Brick Pasta. Thanks for joining earlier or watching. Yep. All right. So that's what we, uh, that was my haul. So this is um, Chris's set. I'm going to build in space month. That's what we're going to do. This is one of the Lego factory sets. Um, actually, one of the cooler Lego factory sets. <laughs> uh, Star Justice. So they there were seven Lego factory sets. We have all seven of them now. Uh, one of them we did was the one with Statue of Liberty, which is that was right there. And that was in one of them, the city skyline. That was part of it. Um, we've done the the amusement park one 
And so I got to build this one, space, this one in space goals go along with the space thing. So those will be built in space month, which is July this year. I have a eBay, uh, I mean, a BrickLink order I want to place, but the seller has temporarily closed their store. I think they're on vacation or something, and I wish they would open their store up so I could place my order. <laughs> so, because uh, there's something I want to get for Space Month, and it's in Europe, and I need to order it soon because it could take a month or two to get here. Hello, little Ray. All right, so... They ask, what up? Have you built the Millennium Falcon? No, I've not. But I did have a friend of ours, Rigger Bricks. Rigger Bricks. <laughs> he built, he came over our house and he built the solo Millennium Falcon. I still need to buy the Millennium Falcon. I'm looking at the box. I want to buy the uh, UCS Millennium Falcon, but I guess it's got to be something. It's got to be a special deal. For me to buy it. So maybe May the 4th might be a special deal. I do have a special build that I am doing for May the 4th. Um, I hope everything, I need to go ahead and start on that build now because <laughs> just in case I miscalculated on what I have for that. Um, so yeah, I actually started yesterday getting that ready for the May the 4th build. Thank you, Giraffe Gamer. Hey, oh, that's Rager Bricks. I was just talking about you, man. You built my, um, so next, he didn't have time to do a video, but next time you come over, you film a video of it and we'll put it on your channel there. You can put it on your channel. Yes. Rager Bricks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, don't forget that song. I don't know, Nintendo for Life, what kind of train are you doing? I just put the computer in front of the uh, microphone. I mean, the, the my, my, my Duplo box is starting to lean, and it's worrying me. Thanks, everybody, for watching. So how long have I been going here? 47 minutes? So the Falcon that was built, that Regger breaks that he built was the Han Solo movie one, the white one. He built that one yesterday. It's actually up on our dining room table right now. The one that I'm thinking everybody talks about is over there. I don't want to show you because it's a mess over there, but the, um, the Millennium Falcon, the UCS one is the one that I need to get and build before December this year. So sometime between now and December, <laughs> I need to get that one. This thing's really starting to lean. Oh, hold on. Okay. All right. I'm probably going to be going anyway, Sacred sacred Bricks. I'm about to finish this up. I, I've ran out of interesting things to say. Not that I ever had anything interesting to say. So I did my haul. I said you need to have feedback before you buy on BrickLink or sell on BrickLink because people cause problems. I, yeah, I've done all that. And i got to go return... I don't even think I don't even think this these bricks and minifigs. I don't even think they know I have a YouTube channel. So I'm going to go return their money, and then I'll be broke. <laughs> Thanks. I want to thank our sponsors of this video. I don't think that's what you call them, but I want to thank Capital City Bricks. And um, hold on. Oh, the name. The name. <laughs> this, this bugs me when I can't remember. Everybody tell me the name of the one who did the uh, super chat before. Who was still here then? <laughs> I'm going to go in here and see if I can find it. I want Lego to re-release all the modulars. I want Lego to re-release the 12-volt trains. I want Lego to re-release... Uh, let's see some of the uh, the model team sets like that one over there. Can y'all see that one? I don't even know if it shows up there. That would be a cool one. That would that one would be something people would like. <laughs> Hold on, community. I think it's under the community. It 
this makes for in, in really exciting live stream. Oh well, I forgot. That's terrible when you do that. I have to go back and look. <laughs> Double decker couch just did one though. <laughs> so I, I will check my messages on Facebook. I do get a few of those, and it's actually the I'm more likely to respond to you there because that's the only thing I usually check on Facebook. Which one are you, Nintendo for life? Let me see here. Let's just see if this is working. Don't have anything new. All right. I'm getting sleepy. I got to go. <laughs> Erwin Alien. See, this is what y'all do. Um, when you start leaving Super Chats, then I have to stay on a little longer. Hey, Adam. Yeah, he's like, hey, Ronald. <laughs> Thank you, Erwin Eling, for the uh, Super Chat. Appreciate your question. You did know we, uh, yeah, we answered your question in a recent video, the one, the one you did. I like good questions. <laughs> Joseph Cheese in a Pie, I have a question for you. May I ask the question quickly if you have the time? Was that the question? I will stay a few more minutes if it's a question that I can answer. <laughs> What's a good question? That's another question. I don't know what a good question is. <laughs> well, a good question is something that um, it's interesting. Um, it's like I get the re-release question a lot. I get, you know, the favorites a lot. It doesn't annoy me or anything I'm saying. But I say those are types of questions that people ask a lot. How have you been, good sir? So that's the Joseph Cheese and the Pies question. I've been pretty good. <laughs> By the way, what was your favorite Lego haul that you've received from other YouTubers? Um, one of the best was the one Bricks for Chris did. Uh, that was actually one of my favorite videos. Um, when he sent me the picture, the picture frame, the, uh, he took a photograph of my sick fig in a pile of red bricks at the Lego store is a really good photograph. And it's over there in my brick link store right now. Uh, that was one of my favorites from other people, but we've had so many good ones. It's hard. I mean, Robin Hall sent us the, um, the tree there. I got the stuff that, um, Barry Francis has sent from England. A lot of times it is when you get those things like you can't get over here. Uh, that's really cool. I got some Jurassic Park magazines that people sent me. Uh, Magnus Engstrom, who doesn't really get on here anymore on YouTube much anymore, but he sent us some um, stuff back in the day, too, that was over there, some of the magazines uh, that we couldn't get here in the U.S. Think, so I've, I've had so many, but that one that Chris sent, that was, kind of, that was really kind of neat. And then even with my trains are, I had... The girl up north, she sent me this Queen Elizabeth um, train for my train collection. I was like, whoa, that was pretty special because it's not something I could get over here, um, what she sent. So I, I've had a lot of them. I, mean, I, I feel honored that people have done that. Um, yeah, so that was one of my favorites. That's a good question. That's a different question, but it's one that I have to be careful how I answer it because I don't want to offend people That because I've got so many that sent me stuff. I don't want to forget anything. And I actually have, I want to get my binder of all my, I've kept all my letters and notes that people have sent me. And I have a lot of <laughs> that people have sent. And that's, to me, you don't have to send me a set. You don't have to send me a piece. You know, it's the, um, I like the letters because that's something I can keep and reflect and it's got your name on it. Cause like, I remember Robin sent the um, tree. I just remember that, but it's, I got other things. I have to think a second. Wait a minute. I know, this, I know that somebody sent me that. I got to remember who, who sent it. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to ever forget. Mandarin productions. 
Is that the real one? Yeah, we don't, I don't accept um, profanity, so don't do that again, Ryan. And it was all explained in the first part of the video. Ch Chad Brick Hobby, hello. Yeah, it's basically to recap. <laughs> Almost everybody gets their start on BrickLink by buying. There have been a lot of problems from people, especially kids. I don't think I mentioned that part in there. Getting on uh, BrickLink and trying to sell, not knowing what they're doing. I've had people that started BrickLink stores and then get an order and don't know what to do. And I'm like, you shouldn't have opened the store. That's why you should buy first, know the process so that you can sell. And 99% of the people that sell on BrickLink are also buying. So it's really not an issue to place a couple of orders. And the suggestion I made to the person who asked it is just buy, buy some stuff to see what it's like. And if you, you can turn around and sell it later. And it, 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 that would be less than the fees that you would pay on eBay. But if, if it's too much of a trouble, just sell on eBay. <laughs> BrickLink is really for, I think it's more for Lego people. I think it's for people that are hobbyists. And that's the way it started. And that's why I don't really want them to get into all the uh, alternative brands. Just because it never was about uh, Mega Bloks. And I don't think they will uh, get into selling Mega Bloks and Creo and knockoffs. Uh, and I know they would never put Lepin because they did Lepin. That would shut the whole site down. It's like, phew, I'd be done with it. But anyway... Yeah. So zero zero feedback people tend to be nefarious on BrickLink for some reason. Um, chrome pink would be awesome. <laughs> Why have they not? I don't have my color chart, but I did buy some um, chrome pieces that. So there's a lot of different BrickLink sellers that actually sell custom chrome pieces you can get just about any piece you want chrome it's very expensive for some of the pieces but it's pretty neat and i got uh, one that i bought a bunch of the different colors that they had a bunch of weird chrome colors the only problem with chromed bricks is that they're going to have a slightly um, more of a thickness to them which affects the clutch of those pieces so that can be a problem but it's it's neat to, to have those pieces Golden Light Pictures. This is the universal question <laughs> for BrickLink, for Lego pieces. What you call a piece, what I call a piece, what he calls a piece, what she calls a piece, and a lot of times it's different. And he says, I wish there was a selling website that catalog parts, et cetera, as what they actually come from, like Emmett hair instead of brown hair with spike. <sighs> there, And it is frustrating when you've got like – all right. Let me get some of these random figures that I just bought today really cheap. All right. So I got this guy. Does that even focus? It doesn't matter. So if you wanted to sell his hair, if you want to sell his torso, or if you needed to buy it, how would you describe it? Well, this is obviously a Ninjago, I think. I say obviously. That's a Ninjago figure. So you you just start going through searching things. Then you got to search the color. Are you sure, you know, if it's a head, you got to you know the 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 face that he's making, which you can't see. And it, it gets hard searching for pieces. If you have a piece and you don't know what the piece is called, and you're looking for it because you want to buy it, it's very frustrating. Same thing with this figure. You know, different parts. You know, like 
what theme was this in? You know, you're, you, you have to guess sometimes. Like, how would you just, and, and the, the best thing to go by is the part number. So it's like if you're looking for a part. Okay, let's play the game. Lego Element Daily. <laughs> Describe this part. And don't cheat and look it up. And I'm going to look it up. <laughs> it, it's basically a two-by-two two plate with this one-by-four plate coming up the side of it. It's got a groove here. I'm going to see what the official BrickLink name is. Oh. <laughs> what would you call this piece? Oh, man. Does anybody know the part number? I had to look on the... I, the part number's on the back, bottom. It is correct. Um, let's see what the chat is. Maniac Brick... Okay, so Chad's Brick Hobby says 2 by 4 base hinge. No? Appreciate the, the guess. 2 by 2 by 4 bracket says M MSCAD. And that's the closest so far. It's not 75622, although that's it's got 2-2 two two in it. <laughs> and we're getting more. It's not a hinge. But see, that's what I'm saying. A lot of us would look at it and we're trying, is this an angle piece? Um, but the BrickLink name is Bracket. So it is a bracket. Look, corn, corn malt. <laughs> that's right. It's part 2422. And it is two by two, one by four. It says it's a, and this is well, it's not black; it's red. <laughs> Angela, you were doing so good. <laughs> red. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you corrected it. You corrected it in the next comment. <laughs> it's not a black bracket; it's a red bracket. <laughs> All right, so it's a bracket. But if you, how many people knew that that was a bracket? I wouldn't even remember that. All right, let's, let's play the game. We'll do part another part that I got in the um, in the hall. This one will be a little should be a little easier. <laughs> Angela Martin, a cheater. <laughs> Darn copy and paste. <laughs> hey, I, I I like it. I, I like it. But y'all y'all were y'all did really good and getting the number. The 2422, that was good. Who was that? Got that? Corn malt. Got it. <laughs> All right. So, what is this piece? Yes. Uh, Braxton, it's a windshield. And a lot of times people don't think of it as being a windshield since it's a solid color, but it is a windshield. And what is the part number? What? It doesn't have the part number on here? Or is it a windscreen? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> is it a windshield or a windscreen? Two by six by two, says Maniac for Bricks. Two by six by two. Windscreen. Yeah, so basically a windshield is a windscreen. So I'll give you we'll we'll give you that. And this is white. I think this is part 4176. And, but it's also, there's more detail than just that because it's got a sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, many figures have parts numbers too. And so that's it. And that's a whole nother range of confusion. Because the minifigure head, the minifigure head has a part number, and then BrickLink has different codes for the different things that make up the head, like the face, and it's just like, oh, it's it's very hard. It's I think it's thirty six twenty six, and then there's. There's a system behind their code, but it'd be like ten a long alphanumeric to describe a minifigure head. I don't even try to understand it. 
Okay, what's this part? All right, here's another one. It's got all kinds of crap in. <laughs> what do you call this? It came in 20 sets. And the set that I need it for is set 4553. All right, now I lost the chat. Sorry, hold on a minute. Whoa! <laughs> Everybody's coming up with it. Yes, it's a brush. That's right. Is that the part number, Angela? Angela's good on these parts. <laughs> it's a brush. All right, I don't have anything else interesting. I think these are panels. So sometimes things are like, okay, you know, that's a cannon. Those are the easy ones. You know, the shark. This is a cone. This is a round brick. <laughs> and so you do cones, br uh, round brick, excuse me, round bricks, and then you do the dimensions. So th that's the, where you start, how you start with the dimensions. So it's like, if you don't know what this part, if you didn't know this was a bracket and you didn't know the part number, like if you were just looking at it, you saw it, but you didn't have it in your hand, you're like, oh, I want to get that piece, but I don't know what the part number is. Start with the dimensions and go from there. And, and then you can try different names that you think it might be called. But if you get the dimensions, it'll get you close. <sighs> You know what? We accidentally discovered a better way of doing this segment. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Haley. And Brick I'm about to end the stream. <laughs> but uh, Aussie Brick Chase says you can do guess the piece more often. <laughs> yeah, guess the piece and then we'll go. I don't know. This. Angela will get it. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> do the carjack, says Raining Pigs. Sterling Foils, that was the one who did the super chat earlier. Thank you. That's a red. <laughs> he says. <laughs> Window angled. That's a good one. That's a good one. Of course, windowed angled. So let me. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, it's it's very close. All right, red came in one set. Oh, wow. And I think somebody said it earlier. I think actually, who was it that said that earlier? This only came in one set, and I should have known this. Um, Go back to the chat. Live long and prosper, says UFG. <laughs> Yeah, outward sloping, 474. See, Angela, well, you've got a BrickLink store or something. <laughs> yeah, and this was only in an Mtron set. It's only appeared in one set, the Mtron set. In this color, anyway. All right. So that was a good, I'm glad I scooped that one up. That's uh, the best parts, the parts that are most likely to have the best value if you're a collector, are parts that only appear in one set. And this part will probably likely never be re-released. So, oh, who's your, yeah, sorry, I've been on here for an hour and nine minutes. We started playing Guess the Peace Name. <laughs> so, we may have created a segment I can do that won't be totally boring. I have to do them live, though, because it's no fun if I just, do a video and show a couple of pieces. Well, actually, I could do that. Get five pieces. and No, then everybody would have time to look it up. But anyway, I don't know. But anyway, thanks to everybody who joined. Uh, I'm sure Hooge and Haley uh, will be over there with Bricksmith. So uh, be sure to check out the stream there. It's Taco Monday or something. I don't know. 
But um, I want to thank everybody. Oh, Brick Pasta came back. <laughs> Brick Man, hello. And this it, it actually turned out to be an interesting stream. Um, but anyway, thank you. I'm going to go. I'm sorry if I don't look at the camera all the time. Um, and we got weird videos coming up. February is either going to be really bad or really weird. I'm not sure which. So just warning you. So thanks for watching. Thanks, Liz Ann. Thanks, Cake and Nader, Brick Smith, Julia May, Chaz Brick Hobby, Golden Light Pictures, Lego Man, one, two, three, four, five, Bods Bricks, Paul Fairchild, Joseph Cheese in the Pie, Domino Fan, zero, 0803. I'm sorry if I missed you in the chat earlier. Like Domino Fan. I'll see Brick Chick. Sterling for the super chat. Joseph for the super chat. chat Capital City Bricks for the super chat. Double Decker Couch for the super chat. Hit Bit, hello. Irwin, thank you. Jags Martin, Lego Freak, everybody that was here. Sorry if I missed your name. And we will see you in the next video. Or maybe I'll go watch that stream later tonight. Bye bye, guys. I forgot how to end these things.